Let's talk about the magnetic force on the straight uh, wire, which is of course having the current flowing through. So in uh, year 10, you should have already learned uh, how to determine the direction uh, of the force when there's external B-view um, experienced by the currents moving on a straight wire. Uh, the way that we do is using the flaming left hand root. And uh, if you remember, there are three fingers we have to use using our left hand. That is a thumb, second finger, and middle finger. And that represents F, B, and I, force, uh, magnetic field, and also the current direction. If you somehow forget about how to use that, I will recommend you to uh, watch a video and I will teach you uh, how to do it. And also, uh, I will show you uh, the experiments uh, demonstration so then you can have a better idea of how it will work. So um, in IB, basically, uh, you now what else new to you is uh, you need to learn about how to do the calculation. That means finding out the force quantitatively. And apparently, uh, it's very intuitive. Uh, if you remember like how the force is affected by I and B, is simply if you have greater B view, stronger B view, then it, the force will be higher. Or if you have a greater current flowing through the wire, then it will be higher also. As for L, which is a the length, then apparently if uh, you have the length that is covered in the B view, that is longer than the effective B view will be greater in terms of area. So that's why L will also be relevant also, like as in for the length. Um, and be careful that if really the B view is only like that tiny, then the length that you should take is probably only the, um, the part where you have B view like this. So it really depends on the situation. The reason why uh, for the sine theta is similar to the previous video when we talk about the charge. Uh, when we talk about uh, the charge particle, when they experience the B view and when they are moving, they will also experience the magnetic force. And that is something to do with whether or not the currents and the B view are perpendicular or at a certain angle. So for example, if they are perpendicular, then this is when the force is the greatest. And you know if uh, they are parallel, then the force will simply be zero. So what if they are at certain angle then? Then in that case, you need to take the sine theta. So once again, um, I would not really prefer you just simply uh, blindly take sine theta, but more like thinking which which components uh, you should take by using trigonometry. So for example, here, if this is how the angles look like, like this is sine, uh, this is a theta, then I would say you should take, yeah, you should take sine theta in this case. But I think if you are given like this angle, then it may not work the same. So um, be careful with like the angle that you are given. Okay, so um, this is actually pretty much about uh, how you need to use it. And there will be some more questions uh, we will we'll look into later on. But at the same time, I will also recommend you to review this uh, video about what happened when you have two um, parallel straight wire and uh, when, when they are currents having uh, going to the same direction or opposite direction. So uh, there was a um, demonstration done by MIT and I also make a video to explain that uh, again qualitatively so whether or not uh, they will attract or repel each other it will be good if you can try to take a look of that and I'll put the uh, link in the description and also on the playlist as the next video so you may want to take a look of that um, if you try to read further on your test book you will find uh, there is an example uh, which I did not include in the question set and basically after you understand about the the, the video I talk about for two parallel wire, then you should be able to understand this. The other thing that you may uh, want to take a look also is uh, you may want to read page 237 uh, starting from this sub subtitle uh, called the closer look at the magnetic force on the current carrying wire. And basically this is a 
more advanced um, idea and concept that if you are interested you can take a look uh, that is the reason why we come up with the just now that equation uh, f equals to b i l for strict wire uh, we can actually deduce it from using the equation f equals to b v q again this one is for charge and this one is for strict wires so um, if you try to compare these two, we may call that the one for the charge is more for microscopic, so the, the, the smaller uh, particle. And for wires, it's more like for a macroscopic field, so the actual world that you are now seeing. And in fact, they should be coherent to each other. That means if you try to use the idea of uh, F equals to BVQ on the charge, which are actually flowing onto the wires, you should be able to deduce the equation of BIL for the magnetic force because they are exactly the same force. So if you are interested uh, to know more about this, I would recommend you to read this page uh, and also the page, the next half page also, and you should be able to find out and understand how you can deduce it. And at the end, you obtain F equals to BIL. Okay, and if you don't find this, um, you know, so um, you, you, if you are study Excel and if you can't understand it, I think that's actually fine if you if you say. Uh, but I would say, uh, again, you probably will find it quite interesting because uh, you will find everything are consistent. And at the end, uh, you understand more uh, why it will be BIL.